to save up to $1,475 on a new celebrity. Chevy has made it possible for your dealer to pass along savings of up to $775 on air-conditioned celebrities, plus $700 savings on option packages. That adds up to a $1,475 savings, or save $350 to $1,200 on a specially equipped new Beretta, Cavalier, or Corsica, or get $600 cash back on a new 88 Camaro. Like so many American chocolate lovers, I was relieved to hear about Hershey's new Bar None. Its unique combination of chocolate wafers, chocolate cream, peanuts, and pure milk chocolate make Bar None the supreme chocolate extravaganza. Bar None, but will it satisfy the chocolate beastie lurking in us all? Your money like a bandit. Did you pee in here? Is that what you were doing? Uh uh. I use the alleys for that. And the Lakers play the Cleveland Cavaliers tomorrow night at the Forum. While the you check the back? Uh -huh. No. Maybe this guy changed motels. Maybe water beds make him seasick. Where's he gonna go? Acapulco? Mrs. Carr said she saw him on Pico. Mm -hmm. Listen to this. Detroit. Six degrees. Chicago, minus two degrees. Bismarck, North Dakota, minus 16 degrees. Gusts of 30 miles an hour. Wind chill factor 62 below. You ever been to Bismarck? No, I don't recall so. Then what do you care? Philly. Blizzard in Philly. And now, Los Angeles Pacific Center, high of 81, low of 65, continued sunny and warm through next Tuesday. Is this Paradiso we're living in or what? It ain't gonna be Paradiso come Friday. We don't get something we can build, Mrs. Kirsch. Where you going? Down to the office. Look through some prospect files. More and more. Mm, look at this. We must learn to be wise with our law enforcement dollars. I just saw I this guy. More money for this guy right here. Training. It's a Senate candidate. I just saw him at the Roxy Motel. I swear to hear part and everything. Hi, Ted Craig. What the hell is he doing at the Roxy? What was he doing there? No, what do you think? Celebrating his wedding anniversary? Come on, Norman. Earlier front runner Bill Winninger appeared at the Was that his wife? Yeah, but I did not see his wife. I saw him coming out of the motel into a rented car. Now, if this guy is getting some and Bunt's detection can prove it, need I tell you the temporary cash flow worries you can forget about? I don't recall getting put on this case, Mr. Budinsky. Oh, I see. And it's illegal to solicit business in the free enterprises. Sid, you got eyes bigger in your brain sometimes, you know? Okay. You let me get it? I hope this wakes you out of bed. I hear nothing from you. Meanwhile, Morris is out for a quarter milk, three quarters of an hour now. What kind of detective are you, Mr. Bunce? Nice tone of voice on that lady. Just shut out the lights when you leave and check the Roxy again for Morris and Carr. Which I will do. And in the AM, I hit the rental agencies with this philandering politician's license plate. You see, I couldn't be more sorry about misplacing your vehicle, ma'am. I shouldn't ever take a drink. But I do, and then the metal plate in my head electrolyzes, and I simply forget. I have the license for you. It's, uh, 2 tro three nine one. Name of the renting party? Oh, uh, see, it's my business. It could be under a lot of names. Um, check Craig. Citizens Committee for Craig? That's it. Bingo. You'll have to hit me at the roller derby rink. <laughs> Get the plate, it's dried out. Well, thank you very much. I'll find the vehicle, return it myself. Hey, 
Hey, good morning. Campaign director Fielding? Sid Thurston, Bunce investigation. Uh, do you have an appointment, sir? Because Mr. Fielding doesn't see anyone without an appointment. Oh, geez, I'm sorry to hear that. Because isn't your Bill Winninger the one running against Ted Craig? Yes, he is, but you I'm see, afraid I... I frequent a certain West Side motel. And uh, so does Ted Craig, and so does his Tootsie. And while I believe in live and let live... You've seen Ted Craig in a motel when? Mr. Fielding? Yes. Five minutes of your time, please. Sid Thurston. Mr. Boss, are you there? Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Just a minute. Yeah, Mr. Sherezian, by my calendar, rent's not due till tomorrow. You have to do what? Hey, so it's your holy day. Slay your sheep, make a day of it, and then collect the rent the day after. Yeah, come in. Not even a sign out to lunch. I waited here for an hour before. If you'd call first, Mrs. Karsh, my receptionist could schedule you. Now, what's the problem? He called her right in my house. Floozy. Hiya, big boy. How you doing today? Oh, very good. Thank you. My name is Sherry, and I just happened to be hitchhiking Pacific Coast Highway last night. It's a recording, Mrs. Karsh. Excuse me, what? It's not a real voice, it's a recording. He calls a number, your phone gets charged a couple of bucks, he listens to a message. If anything, if he's calling numbers like this, he probably don't have a girlfriend. Morris. No, I haven't been well. And ever since my surgery, I uh, neglected my marital duties. <laughs> this is what I make you do, Morris. So, uh, you want to wrap this thing up, Mrs. Karsh? I can bill you right now. Bill me? For what? Hey, Mrs. K, how are you doing? Good. I think, I think good. You care to get current on the Craig file, Detective Bunce? <clears throat> okay, Mrs. Karsh, we'll talk about your billing on the phone. You want us to stay on the lookout just in case? Oh, sure. Stay on the lookout and run up my bill. When I've already paid you a retainer, when I told you I'm a fixed income, a person ravaged by inflation. Huh? You're thinking of Winninger for Senate, ma'am? He's Social Security's best friend. And I'm Ronald Reagan's best friend. Hey, Norm Bunn, Larry Fielding, Winninger for Senate, campaign director. Have a seat. Plain and simple, Mr. Bunn. We've been in a tough race with Craig. We think we've got him licked, but a morals issue would finish him off. Now, we've had a laundry list of unproven suspicions all along. Kickbacks going back to when he was in the garment district. We're not adverse to hiring you to investigate all of this. However, the obvious priority is the one lead Mr. Thurston's indicated you've got. Craig hitting the no-tell motel circuit. Mr. Thurston indicated that? No, and per your instructions, I didn't tell Mr. Fielding everything you saw. For evidence that could persuade Californians of Craig's dubious moral stature, we'll pay you $10,000, Mr. Bunce. <coughs> 10,000, huh? Against your regular per diem. <clears throat> uh, we're talking your standard door and window surveillance, right? Your methods are whatever they are. I'm just telling you what we need. Something to show Ted Craig for the hypocrite that he is. Progress report in 48 hours? I hey, believe it, sir. Bunce detection is gonna nuke Ted Craig right back into the bra and panty business. Hey, Fielding, hey, just uh, one question, if you don't mind. Your man's position on law enforcement. Bill Winninger wants to send all the criminals to the South Pole. What the hell did you tell him? Just a few things. You know, I checked with the agency. That car outside the Roxy was rented to Craig. Well, I guess we hit the big time, huh, Norm? Far-reaching investigation to political corruption? Yeah. Hey, I did okay. Am I right, Norm? I mean, it ain't blackmail. It ain't illegal. It ain't even immoral, I think. Yeah, you did okay. Mr. License plate 2 TRO 391, also known as Candidate Craig, appears to have just entered room 16. Uh, I couldn't trade this for room 16, could I? Room 16? Yeah. 16's been booked straight for the last couple of weeks.
your cars. Come on, you two. What the hell are you doing? There's probably another one around. Don't worry about a thing and just call me, please. Uh. What happened? Oh, brother. Did you get a license plate at least? Don't worry about that. Should I just maybe get a glass of water or Roll down the window, please. Could you roll down the window, please? Hi. Hi. I think I know who you are. Could we talk about it? Sure. I mean, uh, we could talk about it. Come on, I've got to get out of here. We'll take my car. Don't take off that beard till after the J.C. Penny after Christmas sale, starting Saturday at 8 a.m. Because now you can play Santa for yourself with 25 to 50 percent off a collection of Mrs. Blouses and sweaters, women's outerwear, slipwear, and robes. Savings on our entire line of lingerie, fine jewelry too. All men's sweaters and outerwear, 25 to 50 percent off. So play Santa one more time, J.C. Penny. We bring out the Santa in you. J.C. Penny. GM meets your challenge now. If you ask me to dish out my hard-earned money on a new car, then you better show me some real quality that's... Uh, Price right. GM meets your challenge with outstanding quality and great values backed by the strongest warranty in GM history. What about price? Most popular GM cars and trucks equipped the way you want are priced lower in 1988. And right now you can more than double your savings on option packages on some of our best-selling cars. That's leadership. That's GM. J.J. Starbuck moves to a wild new night in time Saturday. I'll be dipped. A world of megabucks, greed, and murder. I don't think it was a murder and suicide. Where the filthy rich learn how to make a killing. I can smell it like a one-eyed dog in a meat house. Starbuck at a new night in time. I want Starbuck stop. After Comedy Saturday. I had the sudden urge for tropical time. This Tuesday. Hunter moves to a new jungle. Really? You know what that means? New and exciting things for us to do. Like finding the killer of Rick's lost love. No fall murder. You're a number one suspect in the murder case. Tuesday, Hunter rides into a bold new night. Tuesday after Matlock. What's your name? Sid. Sid? Yeah, Sid. Sidney. Was that funny? No, no. Um, just sounds like you're from New York. Oh, you mean it sounds sleazy. Sid, I want you to understand something. I admired Ted Craig deeply, and I'd do anything for him. Do you understand? I think so, Randy.
put in your hair? Oh, uh, just your basic greasy kid stuff. Can I touch it? Um, yeah, sure. Okay. You're cold. Cold hands, warm heart, that kind of stuff, huh? When was the last time a woman touched you? Oh, uh... Oh... It's, it's been a while. Quite a while, actually. You know, with the health problems and, uh... being new in town. That kind of stuff. It was in my eyes. I'm gonna want something in exchange, you know. Hey, uh, there's a price for everything, right? go hide behind a dumpster, and then I figured maybe I missed you or something. No, you didn't miss me. How'd we do? Well, with the shots, you must have got great. With mine, no, I'm sorry to say. Two of them came out together, but I couldn't get them from the way they were hiding behind one of the palm trees. You didn't get them? No, but you got them. I didn't get them. You didn't? No. Well, you had to. That's not possible. I didn't get them. Hey, Norm, they were right there. Mr. Karsh almost ran me over with his car. My camera got busted. Damn it. Norm? What? We could still go after the corruption aspects, remember? Oh, we got all those other aspects. Yeah, you wanna bet how interested they're gonna be? The corruption aspects? Really, Mr. Bunce, that won't be necessary. But what about Mr. Bunce swears his word? I saw the candidate come out of the motel with a broad. His word? Hey, he's a decorated ex-cop, sir. Hey, Sid, forget it. Mr. Bunce. I have several of these. I'm showing you so later we don't hear squeals of surprise from your corner. Where'd you get this? That one, that's a telephoto from a rooftop over on 32nd. You doubled us up? You put somebody trailing us? What did you expect, Mr. Bunce? You can't suppose I'd trust a match point like this to over the transom guys. Now, is there an amount we can settle on for your initiative? We're not GM here, so don't go crazy. A thousand, a thousand bucks. Have June, my secretary, issue it. Come on, Mom, let's get out of here. Mr. Bunce. Maybe you'd do better next time if you went over minimum wage on your health. Hey, Norm, how long is the silent treatment gonna last? Till before I croak or just after? Hey, can I explain one thing, please? Yes, what I did was wrong. Totally NG and unacceptable. But I assumed that you had the goods. How did I know this guy Cars was gonna knock you down? Then you came back here and you lied to me, Sid. You forget that particular area, huh? Oh, jeez, Norm, they were standing behind a palm tree. All right! I'm no good, all right? I can't be trusted. I'm a bum. I'm a backslider. But who got Bunce Detective this guy in the first place? Who had sharp eyes? Sidney Thurston. And I'm sorry, Detective, but we happen to be covering the rent situation on this case here, which is more than you're covering with that deadbeat Mrs. Karsh. Norm, I'm sorry, all right? This Randy's really beautiful. Real classy. I mean, she had pictures of herself in a magazine. I saw them in her room. Just get out of here, all right? Come on. Hey, 
I thought I said scram. I'm sorry, sweetheart. Uh, come in, huh? I, uh, I can't stay, Mr. Bunce. I got your call. I made up my mind that I'm through with all this uh, suspicion of Morris. So, uh, you could just quit keeping an eye out because I won't pay you one more nickel. Ashley, no! Mr. Karsh. If you call just to get me all riled up again, no. Any way you want it, Mrs. Karsh. Because Morris and I have been together 42 years. He's all I have. So I can't afford not trusting him. $900 is very good check, yes? Very good, Mr. Sherazian. They just completed a major case today. Thank you. I deposit in my deposit. You do that, Mr. Sherazian. Mr. Karsh? Yes? You don't know me. You don't want to know me. All you want to know is I seen you going into motels on dates. Who, me? This Morris Karsh? This Morris Karsh. With the Lincoln and the hookers. Now, I got my eye on you, Morris. Never again, or Gussie finds out. Because I never intended to make myself or my family the issue in this campaign. Hell with them. He's a crybaby anyways. The real issues are too important. Our rusted workers, hey. our decaying environment, our out of control military But I intend, for my position in private... Do you eat any dinner? No vital I'm not too hungry. There you have it. Uh, get yourself corned beef. You paid a rent? Yeah, I did. Hey. Want a beer? Yeah, and uh, corned beef platter. Meanwhile, in West L.A., Randy St. James accused the media of unwarranted intrusion into her private life. But was the media intruding last May when Indigo Magazine ran this spread of her? She doesn't appear to be chasing the photographer out the door. Say it don't add up. This guy's got to drop out of a campaign. And meanwhile, the 10 million guys lined up to trade pants with him. Hey, the man was in the wrong, Mac. The man committed adultery. Seen on several yachting expeditions on the Unbelievable. You think she's all for real? It's not me. The parts. You think they're all hers? Hey, believe me, they're hers. Believe him. The expert. Him? He gets his share. The mood at the Greg campaign headquarters is one of the major insurance. With the, report. Thank you, Roger. the totally new Buick Regal. There's nothing like it on the American road. Out on the horizon, the heart of a Buick, the start of a Regal new day. The great American. Sydney Ward Company, President, Beautiful View. You're a pretty powerful guy. I do okay. But weren't you just seen pleading for change in the street? Why because you ran that? out of coins for the public phone? No, no, wait a minute. Sid, you need the AT&T card. Oh? With the AT&T card, you never need coins. Dial zero plus the number you're calling, then your card number, and your call is billed to your phone. Is that so? Now that's power, Sydney. <laughs> well, then it's me. <laughs> to get the AT&T card, dial 1-800-CALL-ATT. All this great food. It's for the party. And a fresh box of Arm & Hammer baking soda keeps everything fresh. 
Another box in the freezer? Keeps ice cream from tasting funny. And the calendar reminds us to change every three months. Isn't it time for a fresh box? Next on L.A. Law, Van Owen must prosecute an AIDS victim who killed his terminally ill lover. Also, the Venus Butterfly returns. Later tonight, you're invited to join Johnny Carson, Ed McMahon, Doc Severinsen, and the crew of The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson for Christmas with Friends. Come home for the holidays to NBC. Thank you.